versus Plymouth. Sean, what's, what's the week been like in training? Um, considering the result at the weekend, it's been good. Um, the lads have, have had a reserve game on Tuesday and training's been really good. So um, we look forward to another massive game. Yeah, I suppose they are all huge games at the moment. And one thing the manager said to us is obviously taking chances is key. And I suppose without wanting to put any pressure on you, you know, that's what you obviously you'll be looking to convert. Oh, most definitely. That's that's why I've come here, to be honest. And um, obviously, so far I haven't scored, but uh, I'm more than confident that that will come um, with, with the the games coming thick and fast, and you know, big games like that. I suppose so long as somebody scores, it doesn't matter who or how, does it really? No, definitely. Obviously, everyone's pulling in the right direction. We was, we was disappointed after the game Saturday, and uh, we'll be looking to put that right and. You know, hopefully three points will be on the board. Obviously, you've not had too many chances in front of goal. Just what is the secret to making sure that when you do, it goes in the back of the net? Um, obviously, I, I probably snatched at that one late on on Saturday. It was probably well, probably my only chance of the game, and you know, I was disappointed not to take that away. Um, but but like I say, when they come, just be composed and uh, take a chance when it comes and. I'm confident of doing that. I've um, done that all my career so far, so nothing's changed. And I suppose you can only think about the chance that's in front of you, can't you? Yeah, definitely. Like I say, um, you know, I was disappointed with that that opportunity late, so on the game, and uh, we could have nicked it at the end. So um, we, we piled the pressure on them, and uh, you know, it's, it's a different game Saturday. So uh, looking forward to that one. Obviously, Manny had his his transport issues. Um, how hard is it ploughing that that lone furrow by yourself? Uh, it's obviously difficult because um, you find yourself getting doubled, doubled up on between, you know, the defenders and, and yourself, and um, you like to be in and around the box where where I'm most dangerous, and you know I've, I've found that difficult. But you know that's that's our job at the end of the day, and I'm more than happy to do that. I suppose if the team can pose as many threats as possible to the opposition, then they've got more than just you to worry about, which takes a bit of pressure off you, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, we've got set pieces and 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 things we practice on in games, so it's it's not just about open play. It's it's as we've found set set plays that can be the difference in a game. Plymouth obviously doing well, but no doubt Cheltenham will be positive going into the game because I suppose you've got to be, haven't you? Of course we have. We're we're going for the three points and. Uh, I think that'll be the case every week from from now to the end of the season, and they've got their own ambitions, and, and we've got our own jobs to to be taken care of. And uh, like I say, it's um, no bigger than these these last eight games. And with so many changes having you know, come about at Cheltenham, do you feel that the players are gelling well? You know, the lads the lads get on really well, and uh, I feel that the lads are, are starting to understand each other better as the as the games go on. Like I say, there's been a lot of changes, but um, I, I, I think we're, I think well, fingers crossed, it will um, start clicking together at a, a crunch time of the season. And the mood off the pitch, does that feel like a team that's in the bottom two, or does it feel sort of like a team that should be higher up the table in terms of you know sort of the positivity around the camp and just how you're trying to bond together as a team? Well, without naming any names, I, I've spoke to a couple of players. In the same similar position, um, and that they've got crisis meetings every other day, and and that's not been the case here. The gaff has been brilliant, keeping morale up, and you know, telling us not to worry about the situation we're in, and just concentrate on on our own game, which has kind of um, helped the players out individually, and you know, hopefully it'll be good enough by the end of the season. Yeah, if, if you've got that freedom to perform, does that make? A difficult task, a little bit easier. Oh, most definitely. You know, um, I've, I've been in this position before, so I'm, I won't say I'm lucky enough to experience it, but I've I've kind of been there and, and I know what to expect. And there's one or two others, so um, hope hopefully that can guide us through the difficult period and um, pull us through at the end of it. Yeah, from your experience, what is the secret of getting out of it? It's just staying calm, to be honest. When when things aren't aren't quite falling for us, which which it has been now and then, but um, it's it's just you know that bit of guidance with the younger players and, and you know time to to enjoy the football, but 
at the same time concentrate on their own individual jobs. Um, like I say, with the set pieces and just just individual jobs, really. Good man, thank you. Good luck. Sure. Yes. A lot of focus on what's gone on on the back with the people out at the moment. Um, but at the end of last week, there was a change in the in, in the front end of the team as well, with two up front. And, and you seem to create more chances after that, that that happened. Is that something that you maybe think that is something to work on for, for, for Saturday? Um, yeah, well, obviously that's that's the gaffer's decision, and um, like I say, I'm I'm more than happy to do any any job asked upon. And uh, like I say, the, the the defenders in this league, if if you've got two v two, the, the, it's going to pose a threat. And um, I just think these last couple of games, I've, I've been doubled up on, and they've made things a little bit difficult for us. Um, obviously, I'm not an aerial yeah. threat as such, so um, uh, hopefully, hopefully that. Those well for the next few games, and we, we can pose that threat throughout our game. Yeah, no West Burns obviously this week. You had some nice sort of interchange moments with him on Saturday, but then again, yeah. Elliot came in at Portsmouth and, and you set up his, his great goal. So, 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 so that yeah. must be a well. That's that's you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to set up and and create a threat that way. And if I get the goals, then then that's a bonus. But um, like I say, Wes was always a threat with his with his pace and and Elliot. Hopefully he'll, he'll pass fit and and if he gets the nod he, he'll do a job. Yeah. Have you had any uh, any sort of look at what's happening at Notts County this week? Obviously the the manager yeah. leaving there. Yes, um, it's difficult times for them at the moment. Everything's up in the air and the players don't know what, what what's going to happen and it's a difficult time for them at the moment. Um, it, the only thing that's, that's good here at the moment is, is if we've got a, a manager in place and. He knows the place. He knows the players, and everybody's really positive. And you know, I wouldn't like to be on that side at the moment no. at the, Notts County. No, the, the certainty of the situation here, the yeah. stability is, is is what you need at this stage of the season. Definitely, and continuity. I think that's that's most important. Um, there's been a lot of uh, changes um, at Notts County um, throughout the last few months, and um, I, I, I just think if, if players know. Their jobs and and what's around them. I think that that's that's most important.